here? What, what brought you here? Um, you know, I think, you know, looking at the roster, uh, coaching staff, um, it was very, very appealing to me. Um, what Nagy and, and, uh, and Pace have put together with this roster, um, very exciting um, to see what they've done over the past few years. And then, you know, bringing in the new additions, I think, you know, it was the best fit for me. What do you like about the offense so far? Um, you know, I think uh, it lets everybody be them, be themselves. Um, it takes advantage of what you're good at. If you're fast, if you're speed, quickness, then they, you take advantage of that. If you're big, you're physical, then we take advantage of that. Um, we, they, don't, they rarely ask you to do things that you're not comfortable with, and, um, you know, you get better at the things that you are comfortable with. What do you what do you attribute your production last year to and, and just obviously increased opportunity, but what, what – allowed you to have the success you had last year? Um, like you said, I think uh, increased opportunity and then um, just the, the people that I've been around over the years um, to prepare me for that, whether, whether it was coaches or, or, or teammates or players. Um, I think, you know, having a quarterback that I played with for, you know, three or four plus years really helped out. Um, being able to just have those opportunities to get comfortable and knowing that I'm going to be able to be out there and make those plays. What do you think Cam trusted about you? Um, I think just our chemistry. Uh, we've been together for, for years. Um, obviously, he's a, an outstanding quarterback, and, and he does what he does. And um, I knew what he was going to do, and he knew what I was going to do. With you, Darnell, and Marquise, is this the fastest receiving core you've ever been a part of? I think so. I think, um, I think it'll be hard to um, put together you know, uh, a speed in our room yeah, collectively. Man, um, I think we'll be able to put put out a lot of mismatches, uh, put the defense um, in a position where they're not able to do exactly what they want to do. Um, and it's, it's hard. It's hard to cover, you know, three or four, you know, s sub four or four guys on the field at the same time. Amir, what, what do you like about playing the slot? It's new. Um, I, I think uh, over the years exclusively I've been outside. Um, so being able to learn a different different portion of the game um, and being able to take advantage of mismatches, being on linebackers and, and safeties. Um, so really just a, a new opportunity to learn and, and kind of increase and progress just like I've done over the past few years. Have you been, thank you. What, what have been your early thoughts on Justin Fields? He's, he's, he's good. I think um, – He's learning the offense. He's learning how to be a pro quarterback. He's learning how to um, take command of a huddle. Um, and, you know, obviously throughout throughout the draft process, everybody knows his talents. Everybody knows he has a good, great arm, strong arm, you know, accuracy, things like that. And, you know, now he's just learning how to be a, a starting NFL quarterback. You've been on a few teams. New England really has that reputation, though, for excellence. What did you get from that experience personally? I think um, consistency, you know, knowing what to expect every day and then going out and doing it no matter what. You know, obviously every day is, is a different day. There's different circumstances, but um, no matter what it is, you know what that standard is and you have to obtain it every day no matter what. As you've gotten to know Darnell Mooney, what stands out to you about his motivation or his drive? Um, I mean, he's, he's humble. And, and he wants to get better. You know, he steps out on the field. He knows that he can be great, and he wants to be great. And, uh, you know, the things that he does throughout throughout each day, whether it's individual drills, group install, whether it's pre-practice, post-practice, he's always out there trying to find ways to get better, whether it's catching the ball, whether it's releases, whatever it is, he's always, he's always out there doing that extra. You talked about how being in the slot is new. Because of your size, have people been trying to put you in the slot forever? And if so... Uh, what has that experience been like for you? Um, to be honest, I, I don't know. Um, I think I've always kind of floated back and forth. I think for my career, I always had to know every position. Um, but for whatever reason, I always ended up outside, and, and I get I think that's you know where I excelled at the most. And um, and and now we have a lot of guys that can interchange and, and be interchangeable parts. So being able to be in the slot, be outside, you know, that's, if that's going to be the role, then you got to learn it, perfect it, and, and that's what I expect to do. What are the challenges of learning that slot? Um, I think just seeing it the entire field now. I think uh, when you're outside, you have a, a closed view. 
Um, so now the perspective is wider, and uh, you have to learn, you know, not just safeties, corners. You learn, you got to learn linebackers, techniques, uh, nine techniques, blocking, things like that. So just a little bit more to it. What's it been like uh, playing alongside Allen Robinson? Yeah, I mean, obviously he's 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 a top receiver in our league. So being able to to watch him, uh, watch him talk, watch him, uh, and, and figure out what he's thinking. Uh, play in and play out is really beneficial. Obviously, he's had success outside and inside, um, and being that type of that type of player is really beneficial.